Right, so busy with the front crankcase cover. The first step, we've taken off the uh, triangular uh, lower uh, brace. Uh, secondly, we've drained the oil, um, and now we've removed the, uh, the front crank pulley, uh, which requires a great big breaker bar, 20, 22 millimeter socket, um, and uh, certainly a big pole extension. You need at least a meter of leverage, um, and some, some horsepower to get that baby off, so but once the, the, the uh, bolt is out, it's quite easy to get the actual pulley out. Right, so moving on, we're going to now uh, see if we can get all the bolts loosened on the sump and actually just get the sump separated from the block. Uh, if we can do that and just, you know, win ourselves even five or ten bolts of clearance, then we should be good to, to get the, uh, the, the cover off without dropping the sump frame. So that's, that's what we're looking to see. Okay guys, so removing the front timing cover from the M54 motor, um, we have just uh, demonstrated that it can indeed be done with out dropping the sump completely, um, which does require the engine to be taken out of the car or for the subframe to be dropped. Um, we did a bit of Googling on this and uh, the answer that came back was no, definitely you have to remove the sump completely and drop the subframe. So that is not correct. Um, and it's actually relatively straightforward. So you can get to all but two of the bolts um, of, the, of the sump bolts um, without any major drama. Um, there are two which are effectively underneath the subframe or between the subframe and the sump itself and uh, one of those in particular you can't get to without moving the, uh, the steering rack. So the two um, M15 bolts through the steering rack, remove those, the rack comes forward slightly and you can get to it very easily with a, with a ratchet. So once you've got all of those bolts out of, of the sump, and remember that there are a bunch of hidden bolts as well, particularly at the back of the bell housing, there are two which go through some recesses that you can't see, and there are another two that come from the back. Uh, the ones that come from the back are Torx bolts, the ones that you can't see going through two holes are also uh, 10 millimeter head bolts. But once those guys are off, um, the sump will actually drop down and you don't need much. Um, we dropped it down by five, five or ten mil um, and it's absolutely fine. You don't even need to remove all of the bolts entirely, though, though we ended up removing most of the bolts. Um, so a bigger issue in fact is, is, is the fact that you have to release three Torx bolts from the, from the top which go through the cylinder head and into the timing cover. Um, I think some of the uh, um, YouTube tutorials talk about two. There are three. One on either end over here, quite far forward. And then there's one smack in the middle behind uh, your timing chain and it sits in a little puddle of oil so you can't see it by eye. All of those are um, I think T8 uh, Torx. Um, so you do need to remove your, your valve cover to do that. Once that's out and you've, you've knocked your two dial pins back through the, uh, through the timing cover, um, the only thing that remains a problem is the, is the cooling pipe, the plastic cooling pipe, which, which uh, is connected into the back of the, uh, of the timing cover. Getting that out is a pain. Um, we could get it out without removing the intake manifold. Because we've got the M50 manifold, there's a lot of space underneath. You can get arms and hands in there. If you do have the standard M54 intake manifold, you are going to need to get that removed. Otherwise, there's just no way you're going to pull that off. Um, it wiggles, you'll break it. And, if, and even if you do get it off, you'll never get it back on again. So that's probably the biggest pain is that you would generally need to remove intake manifold, valve cover, and certainly lower the sump. But once that's off, a little bit of wiggling and, and, and the, uh, uh, the timing cover comes off just fine. So now that you know that you can do it, it's not as big a drama as, as, as one might think. Um, and on our next video, we're going to examine that timing cover um, and I think share something which is as of yet not reported on an M54 engine in terms of uh, cooling problems. Um, and we think we put our finger on a cooling problem which M54s could struggle from uh, or struggle with, uh, but which we've certainly never seen reported um, on, on the internet. So stay tuned and watch that next video.